Hi, my name is Siki Johannesson. I am the president of the AHC Association of Iceland and the AHC Federation of Europe. I have a daughter with AHC and she is the only one diagnosed in Iceland. A few years ago we were told that AHC was an incurable disease and that we should just prepare ourselves to take care of our daughter the best we can but not to expect her to be able to walk, talk or even attend school. We have found a way to take care of our daughter in a way that she is still talking a little bit, she is walking and she is even attending a special school. There are less than 800 people diagnosed with AHC in the world, although there should be 8,000 according to the prevalence of one in a million. We want to find the others so they can get best possible care. We want to make a documentary to help find the undiagnosed ones, to speed up the research process and to get more support for AHC in the search for cure. The film will be distributed all over the world. We are already much closer to finding a cure than we ever could have dreamed about a few years ago. We made a short video to show you what this is all about. Please watch it and help us make the documentary a reality. Thank you for your support. Here comes the video. Alternating hemiplegia of childhood, AHC, is a rare neurological disorder caused by a mutation in the gene ATP1A3. AHC is named for the transient episodes of hemiplegia from which those with the disorder suffer. These hemiplegic episodes can cause anything from mild weakness to complete paralysis on one or both sides of the body, and they can vary greatly in duration. Episodes may also alternate from one side of the body to the other, or alternate between affecting one or both sides during a single episode. AHC is associated with many symptoms besides hemiplegia, and the majority of these become apparent in early infancy. AHC typically presents before the age of 18 months. Normally, hemiplegia and other associated symptoms cease completely with sleep, but they may recur upon waking. AHC is extremely rare. Approximately one in every million people has this disorder. Besides hemiplegia, symptoms of the disorder include an extremely broad range of neurological and developmental impairments, which are not well understood. Particular triggers can bring on hemiplegic attacks, and management of AHC often centers on avoiding common or known triggers. While triggers vary greatly from person to person, there are also some common triggers that are prevalent in many patients. Common triggers include temperature changes, water exposure, bright lights, certain foods, emotional stress, strong odor, and physical activity. While avoiding triggers may help, it cannot prevent all hemiplegic episodes because many occur without being triggered. Because attacks and other associated symptoms end with sleep, various sedatives can be used to help patients sleep. The most common drug used to treat AHC is flunarizine, but it is only effective in 50% of the cases. AHC associations worldwide are working towards a cure for AHC. If you think you can support our cause in any way, please go to the AHC International Alliance webpage, ahcia.org, to find an AHC association for more information.